head here, face up. Yeah, you know, I gotta have a good performance, lot like every fight, not just because it, this is a cool main event against Cody Garbrandt. That good? Side to side's good, up down's good. Good, it feels great. Yes. Appreciate it, bud. Yeah, absolutely, bro. Every fight, I gotta, you know, make sure that I bring the best. I fight on Sun that night. I think I have the advantage um, anywhere, despite despite him having heavy hands or whatever. My mentality is I have the advantage everywhere, every second of the fight. Oi, got the little one. Miss you. Hey. Bye, I love you. You're wearing uh, Nina shorts tonight. Yeah. I, I just like using her her stuff. She was my, I was hers. We trade when we fight. Yeah, the week of the fight, Amanda's usually in the best mood she can be in. You know, she's doing what she loves. She's happy. She's very calm. I've been through many fights with her, seven and a half years, going back and forth, my fight, her fight. So we kind of feel the energy around each other of, of what it is like on fight week. So it's almost just like another day for us. Imagine how much harder I feel like I hit with this extra 15 pounds. Oh, so funny. Mikey, when it goes a little bit, I'm gonna get it. It's been a great camp. Work's done. She's uh, always evolving and uh, just pulling away from the pack. She knows the, the dangers that Spencer possesses. But she's well prepared and, and not overlooking anybody. We're ready for this. I can stuff. braid, but not like that. I, can, I, good at I am good at braiding, yeah, right? I do have a little girl, so. Uh. And we are now joined by UFC Women's Featherweight Felicia Spencer. What's the key that's going to separate you from those other challengers? I'm me, you know, I'm just I'm just different. I feel, you know, every fighter feels different in the cage, of course, but I think I just have a different background, a different skill set, a different pressure, a different grind, and I'm super motivated to take this belt home, you know? So I'm, I'm honored to stand in front of a legend, grateful for the opportunity, but I'm not phased by it. You know, I know it's my skills and another person's skills, and we're gonna fight and see who wins. All right, thank you guys. Wish I could see you, bye. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to have you go right across. Oh, so nice. That on the big overhead. It's a thick shirt. Like, yes. Yeah. Check out a shirt. Come on. That's pinned. Ready, sir? Yeah. Do you get confused for Sean? It's more people, like, I'll have people DM me, like, are you actually Ben Askren's son? <laughs> it's like, mm, no. No, I'm not. We are now joined by UFC Bantamweight Sean O'Malley. You have been making a statement in the UFC so far, and you said it earlier this week that it's the perfect opponent for you to showcase what you do. Why is that? He's a, he's a brawler. He's not going to come out there and try to lay on me. You know, the cage is small. He's probably going to try to get started right away, try to be aggressive. And uh, it's kind of what Jose Quinone has tried, and it didn't work for him. So whether he, whether he comes forward and pushes pushes the action, he'll get knocked out. Or, or uh, if, I, if he lets me push him backwards, he'll get knocked out. So it just it just works out. Perfect. Oh, hi, Eddie. Hey. I was just texting. Yeah. Dig in the stash. Thanks. Where am I sitting? Right here? Yep, right there. All right. You can look into this camera. Okay. Got a camera there, camera there, camera there, camera there. Camera there. Camera there. Yeah, we got all covered. I know. I'm going to be doing this. At 35, WEC champ, fought for the UFC title. We kind of see the story again and again in uh, combat sports, the up-and-comer versus the veteran. Do you enjoy having the opportunity to derail the hype train here? Uh, I mean, it, it's a big opportunity for me. It's a big opportunity for him also. Um, you know, he, he, he's fighting a veteran. I'm fighting, I'm fighting a guy who, he's got a huge name. Although he's, he's been in the UFC not that long, he's got a very big name, a very big following. 
Um, you know, I, I've been in there and mixed it up with, with the best in the world. Uriah Favor, Benavidez, you know, Brad Pickett, Scott Jorgensen, you know, all those guys. Um, I've mixed it up with them, you know, not, not that, not that Sean couldn't do it. I, I, I feel he could go in there and he could mix, mix it up very well with those guys. Um, but I've been there and done that. So I know how to adapt to that. Um, I, I think that's an advantage in my court. Right there. Hey, hello. Good to see you. Me too, hot guy. Virtual, virtual. How you doing? After the last fight, you lost your mind. You start just punching. Now the thing is, fight the mental. Fight the fight the ego of Cody Garbrandt. That'll make him lose his mind. How have you worked on that? I didn't have the hunger that needed to be inside the octagon. I didn't prepare like I should have. So I sat down and had my heart to heart with myself for the first time in, since all this was going on with the losses and the setback and the things that I was dealing with. I feel like I've done everything that I needed to do to realize in my mind and my heart that this is what I am solely intent on doing in my life is becoming the world champion again. And whatever I have to go through to do that, I'm willing to do. So I think that DC is going to be the biggest factor come Saturday night that I just wanted more. So uh, just the passion's back. Love it. Hi, girl. Hello. 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 Fight's coming up, Amanda. People are so excited. You're going to attempt to make history here, right, by defending both belts. So what does that mean to you, first of all, to do something that no one else has ever done before? Does this, like, stamp you as the best ever? For sure, I will do this. Defending the two belts, you know, and hold both of them, is nobody ever did it before. All my opponents do the same mistakes, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to exhaust her. So um, I feel like... Felicia think exactly how all my opponents think, you know, and I beat all of them and I will do it to her Saturday. We are in the hotel, um, starting to cut weight. The weight cut is not gonna be that, you know, difficult. She's a little bit, just a little bit over. I won't tell you the number. Uh, it'd be easy, very easy. She likes to, to lose weight during the training, not just doing cardio, bike, or, or sauna, or hot tub. She likes to train. That's the way she likes to lose the weight. And she's just doing what she loves to do. That's why it like, looks like intense, but at the same time, it's fun. You, know? you enjoy a lot the process. We're at the UFC Performance Institute. Sugar's about nine pounds overweight, so we came here to get a sweat, start losing the weight, take a nice easy ride for about 30 minutes, after get a stretch with Brandon Harris, and uh, go over some more strategy with Taquino Mendez. Got a good sweat, just rode the bike for 30 minutes, start, start a sweat, cut some tonight, four or five tonight, and then wake up and cut, cut the rest tomorrow. And that'll be it. Right now is probably the toughest time for him because he is right at the, the, the heat of his cut. So for us, the, the big piece is just the mind. And he's so good at focusing his mind. A lot of it is just getting him to relax and allowing him the time to focus and do some visualization on what he needs to do for the fight. <laughs> 